Welcome to Letchworth for this Hertfordshire FA Junior Cup final between Mill Lane in light blue and black on your screen now. And then panning across to Croxley Community Reserves who are in red and black. We'll check that the keepers are okay and there we go. Mill Lane attacking from right to left in this first half. Crocs the community reserves kicking from left to right. Scrappy passage of possession in midfield. And it's a poor back pass which has allowed Croxley to get through, but Tom Barnard from an acute angle. Now it's Mill Lane working the ball forward nicely. George Lacey goes for the shot. Bounces straight up and kindly for Daniel James to gather. It's to get the opening strike in this Junior Cup final, but it's been a pretty even game. In truth, both keepers haven't really been troubled. Could that change here? Decent shot from distance, and Daniel James had to be short. Now, space all of a sudden opening up for Bradley Howe in front of him. Ball in behind just isn't quite good enough. Lane would be the more deserving of the two if they can get it. Shot from the edge of the box and it's well saved by Daniel James. An awkward one from George Fitzgerald. Box cleared and the shot on the rebound put wide from George Lacey. Yeah. Now it's worked wide by Bradley Howe. Here comes the cross, flicked on. Nobody deals with it at the far post. Lacey. Lacey cuts inside. And it's a great finish from George Lacey. Mill Lane have the lead here in Hertfordshire. I love the individual goal. Drifted past George Baker down the inside left channel and provided the finish to match. Curtis to win it. Sends it down the right for Wells. Wells looks to link the play. It's forced back. And click forward towards Charlie Wells, who's onside. Links it in for the shot, and it wasn't a bad connection, but in truth, George Fitzgerald, Gerald's effort never quite looked like bothering Daniel James too much in the Croxley Community Reserves goal. Stute in studiously watching that one. Here comes Brendan Ahern over the wall and tipped over. Is to be time wasting, which seems a bit early for that, to be perfectly honest. Eating away a few seconds in waiting to pick that ball up. Pick on, chance to make it two and put wide. And what an excellent chance it was as well. To out swing. Clipped in, clipped on by Pimlock. But just too much on it. It goes straight out. Put a couple over the bar today and we want to do better here. It is a decent ball, flicked on. Too much elevation on it from Jordan Gutteridge. Ben Casey in between the posts. Cross in. Ben Casey makes his first significant save. Since having to go in goal after Harry Isham went off injured. Here from Tom Waters straight at him. Mistake once in a while. Charlie Pym sends it forward from the way. Flicked on. And that's a lovely turn inside from Curtis. Chance to shoot again. Lovely goal from James Curtis. Mill Lane go 2-0 up. The first attempt was blocked. The second one was absolutely gorgeous. Into the top corner. Even the substitute goalkeeper, Ben Casey, runs up to celebrate with his teammates. It's been a really tight and even final when you sense that second goal. 
could help them kill it off. Mill Lane go 2 0 ahead. Taken down by Howe. Howe sends it left. Chance for Mill Lane to score a third. This really would put the icing on the cake. Great save from Daniel James coming out of his goal. And Lancaster takes it into the play inside. Looking for a third now. Bobby Howe through down the right. Shepherd it away. Now, holds the ball up nicely. Lovely inside pass as well for Chris Wells. Wells takes a touch. Wells squares it across the box, but just a yard behind his on-rushing teammate. At the corner. Play it short. No intent to time waste here, though, in fairness. As the cross from Bradley Howe swings out for landing on the top of the crossbar. Hearn looks forward, tries to give his strikers one to chase. They haven't had much service in truth. And there we go. Mill Lane, the 2-0 winners in this Hertfordshire FA Junior Cup final over Croxley Community Reserves. Thank you very much for joining us. I've been Michael McCann, your commentator.